top executives at the Portland Thorns temporarily stepping away. And this is after an explosive report from U.S. Soccer. At 5 o'clock, I'm Elizabeth Din. And I'm Dan Tilkin. In for Jeff tonight, the report lays out more evidence of sexual misconduct and emotional abuse permeated professional women's soccer, including the Thorns. It singles out former head coach Paul Riley, who had two former players come forward with allegations against him years ago. We did wait 24 hours to get reaction from the Thorns organization about this report. Jenny Young live now, and I know, Jenny, you're having more from this message that actually comes from the top of the organization. It comes from Merritt Paulson himself, um, and he says, quote, he's truly sorry. He says that he and Gavin Wilkinson and Mike Golub have stepped back uh, from Thorne's from Thorns decision making until the National Women's Soccer League completes an investigation. Yesterday's Yates report unveiling was the darkest day I have experienced, and I know the same is true for everyone else who loves our team and our league. That's part of a statement from Portland Thorns and Timbers owner Merritt Paulson after the bombshell investigative report that claims Paulson and top Thorns executives knew about sexual abuse committed by former head coach Paul Riley. Representatives for the Timbers Army saying it's time for Paulson to sell both teams. They've had five plus years to do literally anything about any of these reports. It's time for them to fully go. Um, them getting a paid vacation is not exactly a consequence. Tina Etlin telling Coin6 that for now, the Timbers Army is suspending communication with the front office. That includes Paulson, President of Business Mike Golub, and General Manager Gavin Wilkinson. Etlin saying it could change what the north end of the stadium looks like on game days, since leadership always granted them early access on those days to set up. There is the possibility that that could change. Um, we just put it out within the last 12 hours and it's not 100% sure exactly what that's going to look like. Before the Thorns Communications Office released Paulson's statement this afternoon, we showed up at his home hoping to speak with him. No one answered. We also went to the address listed for Wilkinson, but no luck speaking with anyone there either. For Etlin and much of the Timbers Army, this all comes down to the women who've been hurt. We have so much gratitude and admiration for them for coming forward, doing this difficult thing. Um, Ooh. To me, the most concerning thing since. All right, so we've reached out to some of the Thorns' major corporate sponsors, including Providence, Oregon, and Alaska Airlines. Providence sent an email to all employees today saying, in part, quote, the Yates report is deeply disturbing. Providence stands in support of Portland Thorns players past and present on and off the pitch. We also stand with anyone who has been abused or who has been affected by any form of sexual harassment or misconduct. Alaska Airlines saying in part that their priority is, in, is supporting the players and they are currently assessing options to fulfill those objectives. We'll send it back to you, Liz Dan.